Hello students, in our second lecture on microwave, we'll be discussing, uh, we'll be discussing about some examples of uh, uh, two input NAND gate and three input NOR gate. And after this, uh, you will have an assignment which you will need to submit. Let us look at the circuit of NAND gate. The circuit of NAND gate is the PMOS will be parallel and they will be in series with two N MOSs. Apple will be connected to VDD. Now what we need is we need two P MOSs and two N MOSs. In this here you see the pallet is no longer there. You can click here. If you click here the pallet will appear. Now we need two P MOSs. So let us design two P MOSs. We need P type diffusion layer here and here. We take two P plus diffusion layer, we take two polysilicons. We have got two P MOSs and uh, we also need an N well which we have not yet. We have N, uh, this is our N well, so we have two P MOSs. Now we need two N MOSs as well. We take N type diffusion layer, we have our first N MOS here. We will have our second NMOS here, we need polysilicon again. So we have two P we have two P MOSs over here and two N MOSs over here. So now we have to make the connections. How we can see here the source of both the P MOS are sorted drains of both the PMOS are shorted as well. Now we can consider this as source, this as drain or this as source, this as drain. MOSFET is a symmetric device that is any one of the P-type diffusion layer we can consider as source and any one of the N-type diffusion layer we can consider as drain. Now it is to be noted that drain are shorted. We, we, I can see that this part is very close to this part. So it's, it will be very easy to short these two. And since D type, this is a P-type layer, this is also a P-type layer, we can short this using P-type diffusion layer. What's the advantage that it will give? The advantage that it will give is uh, there will be no contact required. As a result, we have already made this connection over here. Now we have to make this connection. We can do this by connecting with, connecting with uh, a P-type diffusion layer, but here, this is connected to VDD as well. So, we will need a VDD bus. Like this. This is our VDD. So, and we we can easily connect both sides to the VDD. If we connect both, both of them to the VDD, they will automatically connect it. And now we have to put this P-type contacts here and P-type contact here. So we have made this connection, we have made this connection. Now the connecting layer, bit, uh, the connecting portion between the two, two different uh, PMOS will be connected to the NMOS. Now NMOS, in this is uh, NMOS, here drain, source, drain, source. We can consider that the source of one NMOS is connected to the drain of other NMOS. So let us consider this is the source of this, N, this NMOS. And this is the drain of the NMOS below that. As a result, if we short these two, the source of first NMOS will be connected to the drain of second NMOS. But how can we do that? Since this is also N-type diffusion, this is also N-type diffusion. We press N-type diffusion layer, we connect this. And after connecting this, what happens is, now we need, <coughs> this, this connection has been made. Now this connection, that is the source of the second MOSFET will be connected to ground. Now let us take a metal, here we have our ground rail and this will be connected to this but here we will be required, uh, required to use N type contacts. This is connected to ground so this connection is also done. Now only one connection is required, the connection between the, between the PMOS and NMOS. So the drain of the PMOS is here and the drain of the first NMOS is here. So we have to make this connection. So we can do this by using metal. This is a, we have to draw three rectangles over here and 
here we will require p type contacts at bottom will be required n type contacts so this connection has been made now we'll have to connect the vdd we click the vdd here we have vdd rail we click ground here we have ground rail we click uh, uh, and another connection is required that is the uh, gate of this is connected to the gate of this gate of this is connected to gate of this so we can connect these two polysilicon layers these two polysilicon layers so we select polysilicon we click and drag it over here we also select polysilicon click and drag it over here so this these two gates that is this pmos and this nmos has been connected this pmos and this nmos has been connected the gates of it one thing is to be noted that see the polysilicon over here and metal here are overlapping but that doesn't create any issue if we see the cross section over here we can see that metal is above polysilicon is below and they were they are in no way touching each other as a result they do not pose any problem now we have to insert a clock this is our clock a suppose this polysilicon it is to be noted that time low 2 to 5 time high 2 to 5 assign now if we take a clock and assign a clock here we can see automatically the time period has been doubled so we are not we don't have to double the time period here it, it gets automatically done we press assign this is a visible node so we press this i now what we need to do we need to create a body bias that is we need to bias the n well as well we need to tie the n well with the vdd so here we have this n type contact we use the contact here so our design should be done let us check a design let us check the design rule drc it doesn't show any error now let us simulate now let us see if it's working uh, when the input is 0 0 the output is 1 when the input is 1 0 the output is 1 when the input is 0 1 the output is 1 when the input is 1 1 the output is 0 that is this follows an AND gate so we have designed an AND gate from scratch okay now we will be designing uh, we have designed two input NAND gate let us now look at another example let us look at a uh, free input NOR gate so let us draw the schematic here for our easier operation uh, since we have already learned the basic there will not be much explanation when we design it uh, free NMOS in parallel, free PMOS in series, the gates will be internally connected, here we have VDD, here we have ground, from here we will see output. So this is, uh, this is our uh, free input NOR gate. So what we do is, at first we bring the palette and we create free PMOS. So I will, in this I will show an innovative way of uh, contact uh, connecting the p uh, mosses uh, p mosses how we can do this this we can take a big p type diffusion layer now if we make a polysilicon over here it divides the p type diffusion layer into two parts this part and this part as a result this is a single MOSFET. now we can get source is connected to the drain which is source drain now this source and drain are connected interconnected so what we can do is we can uh, define the same region as source of one and the drain of other so in order to do that we can draw a polysilicon here as well so what happens is this is a MOSFET here we have source here we have drain this is a MOSFET here we have source here we have drain and again the drain of this MOSFET is connected to the source of this MOSFET so we can draw a polysilicon layer here again as a result we have another MOSFET this third MOSFET here we have source and here we have drain similarly uh, we just zoom out a bit and we draw an n type diffusion layer and we can draw polysilicons That's the advantage of MOSFETs being symmetric device that is you can consider any side as source and any side as drain. Now we can see in this case what happens all the drains are connected all the source are connected. So what we 
can see this we can consider this as a source if this as a source this is the drain so this is the source of this MOSFET this is the sorry this is the drain this is the source of this MOSFET now since this is the source this has to be source of this MOSFET as well right since the source are short circuited so this is the source of this MOSFET as well fine so this has to be the drain of this MOSFET so what we have is we have a source over here we have a uh, sorry, we have a drain over here we have a source over here since the source is over here the source of this MOSFET is here and the drain of this MOSFET is here since the drain of this MOSFET is here uh, the drain of this third MOSFET has to be here and the source of this third MOSFET is here so we have our source here and here and since the source are internally connected and they are connected to ground what we can do is we can take a ground rail this is our source we connect it this is our another source we connect it so and by doing this we we are using n type contacts by using n type contacts we are connecting this source are connected and again this is our drain part this is the drain of two MOSFETs and this is the drain of another MOSFET so as a result we have to connect the drains as well internally So we are connecting the drains via metal again we need n type contacts this connection is done now let us look at the p side the p side is series and easy connected this is connected to vdd because this is the source of the first mosfet and this will be connected to the n mos so what we do is we take a vdd rail uh, where is our metal here using metal one we take a vdd rail and we connect it here uh, and what we have been missing is we have been missing the n well so let us draw an n well surrounding it and we put the since this is p side we put p, p here and since we have to tie the n well we put n here and now this side has to be connected this n mos side and p mos side has to be connected so we take a metal this side we have to connect by p contact and as a result this is our output now the gates are internally shorted so what we do is we take the polysilicon layers connect this gate with this one this gate with this one and this gate with this one uh, <clears throat> as a uh, as a result we have our design prepared now we take the vcc we connect vcc to here i am not going into the details because we have already learned the details we connect the ground here our clock will be there will be three clocks one here 0.225 one here double of 0 0.225 0 0.475 and another one here double of 0.475 that is almost 0.975 we assign three clocks and our visible node will be this node which connects the pmos and nmos so our design here is done let us look at drc it's not showing any errors uh, if there if there were any errors, those needed uh, would need to be solved. Now let us uh, let us run the simulation. Okay. Now we see a very low number of cycles here. So we change the time from five nanoseconds to ten nanosecond and give reset. We will see more cycles. We can see that only time the output is one is when all the inputs this 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 all the inputs are zero. Output is one. So it indicates that the 0, 0, 0 condition gives one output and all the other conditions give zero output, which is our NOR gate. So this is our three input NOR gate. Uh, maybe this should make the layout design a little clearer. Uh, uh, please feel free, feel free to uh, comment in the discussion forum if you have any problem understanding the topic. Thank you so much.